Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mikhaled and today I'm going to show you how you can add uh, user support uh, on the emulation station as it has been dropped after version 3.0.017 so uh, as you can see here I'm on that version and uh, you can see that the emulation station is still working uh, I have here the user support, I have here one game and if I can run that it's uh, will already, I mean, uh, launching through user, but unfortunately the developers have been dis have decided that uh, to drop uh, the support of user. And today, um, on the on the future updates, uh, I don't know. I'm not with the uh, I'm not with the decision that have been made because at the end, this um, uh, major station was just a front end. It doesn't have anything related to user or Nintendo or whatever. And we already seeing that uh, future apps coming, I mean, emulation, uh, emulation apps uh, like Forks and all the stuff is coming with the support. Um, we saw that already in Emulation Station, um, Emudeck have dropped also the support of uh, Yuzu, uh, but uh, they didn't drop the support if you have it already installed, but a decision made by uh, the developers of um, Emulation Station that they are not even supported if it's already there. So. Uh, they mentioned that there is a walk around and you can do that from um, like adding is uh, like a custom system or like system, a custom emulator system so uh, that's what I'm gonna uh, show today so uh, let me first install the, the build and then um, we can uh, jump in and do the configuration required for making this uh, work again with uh, with Yuzu on maybe in future if other forks have been like popped up and you can do the same um, so let's install the build and then uh, let's I'll install the build and come back to you. So here I have installed the build now. I'm in build uh, number 3.0.1-19. Uh, um, and as you can see here, uh, I still have the switch uh, emulation. It's running, uh, but this because I have uh, also Skyline installed on the same device. Uh, so this is not pulling the... The, the settings required or like something to launch it from Yuzu. If I launch this, you can see that's working because it's launching um, a Skyline. But uh, the thing is we don't need Skyline. I need um, Yuzu to work on that. So that that's what's gonna uh, work because you know that like Skyline doesn't have uh, any proper support for future. I mean, for the most recent games and you might end up using Yuzu as, as, um, as your main front emulator. So let's I will uh, remove uh, both of them and I'll get back to the uh, main menu. So what you need to do is uh, you need a file manager uh, application uh, installed, or you can do it also like you connect the device on um, on, on on like a PC. Uh, but the the files required that uh, needed to uh, make use work again, you need to go here inside uh, the location of the ESDS uh, where it have been installed. So here we have ESDE installed on the uh, main storage. You need to navigate to custom systems and here you need to create a new file. So let's create that. And the file name should be um, named uh, ES uh, underscore find underscore rules dot XML. Um, so let me remove that. And I'll add it like that. Um, so you need to open that with the text editor and paste the XML uh, inside the description. I will leave the XML inside the description here. So let's paste that. Let's copy and paste. Looks like it's not pasting, so... Um, Edit, paste, yeah. So I need to edit because I'm using this custom thing uh, and I need to save that. Um, then we'll uh, close this, going back. And uh, also you need to create one more uh, file, uh, which name is uh, es underscore systems dot XML. Let's delete this new file. Again, you can do this uh, by using the uh, by the Android itself, or you can do it from the desktop. 
So now we have the two files and we will open this one just once. We'll enable edit and then also you need to paste the uh, XML. I will leave this on the description down below. So I will paste this also. It's a straightforward. Let's save this. And once we've done that, we need to close that and navigate back and try it now to launch uh, ESDE front end. And hopefully we can see this thing works. Okay, so we have here switch. We can add it and you can enter here. And one more step to make sure that you can like check because maybe the launching the default by launch uh, it will be launching by default by skyline it is you need to go to the settings and you need to go to the other settings let's go there to other settings and then you need to choose the alternative emulators and you need to scroll down until you will find switch so yeah you see here now it's mentioning that it's using user so if we Press on that. We have here um, user standalone user. Yeah, this is for the early bird. If you have it as an early bird version, uh, the early access version, because I added also the um, early access. We have it and Skyline. So it's by default now. This is the default emulator. So um, if we go back, 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 and back, and now we'll try to launch the game. And hopefully this time it will work with uh, Yuzu. So. So now it's running uh, with user. So uh, as you can see here, if I'm pressing back, you can see this is the user menu here. You can go to the settings and you can see this is definitely user. So with that, uh, this is uh, adding back the custom emulator. You can do also, if you have any custom emulator, you can do the same. Uh, just like follow the steps or let's check the, the file contents uh, mentioned there. It's a straightforward um stuff so hopefully that it can help you in supporting uh, yuzu and future uh, folks as always thank you so much for uh, watching the video please if you like it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel so i can drop more videos and see you in the next one bye for now